Hello everybody, I'm Connie Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com. Thank you guys so much for joining me for today's Tuesday tip. So, I had a dilemma today. I was working on a project and I wanted to use some of my stitched dies. Do you guys know the ones I'm talking about? We have the stitch shapes, we have the stitch nested labels, and uh, then the stitched rectangles. I love using these. But what do you do when you've got a sentiment, an image, and it doesn't quite fit into that space? Well, today I'm going to teach you how you can use your stitch dies. You can expand them or you can shrink them. And it's a very fun little tip I'm excited to share with you. We're going to get started. Are you ready? Okay, let's head over to the stamping table. So here was my dilemma. I had this stamp sentiment and I wanted to cut it out from one of my stitch uh, shaped dies. So we have stitch shapes, we have stitch nested labels, and then we had the stitch rectangles. Well, I really wanted to use the stitch nested dies, but here was my problem. When I go to put my die on it, as you can see, that's a tight fit, a very tight fit, and I'm probably gonna lose part of my word proud there. So I went, well, that won't work. So when I move up to the next size, well, for me, that was just a little too much space on either side. Oh, how I wish I could have that and bring it over. So today, let me show you how I am going to die cut and I'm going to shrink my stitch nested label. So I'm going to bring in my die cutting machine. Now this one does have a thin die adapter because I'm working with, yes, a thin die. I've got a cutting plate on the bottom. There's my card stock. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna slide this all the way down to the end. I'm going to line up the right side so you can see this is, I've got it all centered up where I want it, about where I want it to cut. I'm going to place my top cutting plate and you notice I'm going right to the edge of those words, all right? What's gonna happen when I run this through, there's no cutting plate here, so guess what guys, it's not going to cut. I'll run this through and you hear that pop, yes, because I got to the end and now let me show you, that's what I have cut. So it didn't go any further. All right, here comes the magic. Are you ready? I'm going to take that die, and I wish you could feel this or kind of understand, it kind of locks into place. I can feel that that stitched die kind of just locks in to those uh, little dots and that little die cut edge. Get that set right where I want it. This time I'm going to flip it around because now I just need to cut this little bit here. So just like you saw me do before, I'm only going to put that die on just a little bit of the cutting plate. Get ready for the pop. There it is. And here we go. I move that away and look at that. I have a perfectly cut stitched shape or stitched nested label but I've shrunk it down. How about this one? I did Happy Mother's Day, and this time I wanna use my rectangle dies. But guys, to find one long enough, it's so wide. What if I want that more narrow? Well, I think you know what we're gonna do. Let me show you how to do this with the stitched rectangle dies. All right, I found the right size die. I'm going to place my cutting plate on top and you notice I'm not having it hang off the edge because this one's going to be done a little bit different. All right, so I'm gonna pop that out of there and you can see I'm not quite centered. So let's take our die and you remember that little trick that I said it just kind of notches in? Because here's the thing, I don't have that stitch down here where I want it. I'm gonna take that die, line it up, get to where it clicks Look for that click, feel that click. Now we'll put our plate back on and here we go. I now have, look at it, a perfect stitched rectangle. And yes, I went from this to a very narrow rectangle. Another great way to use it. For this one, um, I want kind of more of a rectangle. Let's say you don't have those rectangle stitch framelits. So how about we do it with our stitch shapes and we're going to use a square. So there I've centered up my die. I'm going to add my top cutting plate. We'll run that through and you can see I cut that. Let's pop that out. But now we need to get that last stitch 
Again, I'm gonna line it up. I feel it kind of lock into place. We'll lay that down, cutting plate on top, and we run that through. And here we go. We pop it out. I've now gone from a square with those great stitch, and we've done it all the way around our sentiment. Now let's do one, this is just kind of for fun. I'm gonna show you this one and I'm gonna use one of the stitch circles. I'm gonna put it here on the right hand side and I'm going to place my cutting plate. You notice I'm just leaving that little bit hanging off. You're kind of familiar with that part. Run it through and when I pop this off, you can see I kind of have just this little half, right? Okay, let's rotate this around and now I'm going to do it again and I can see where the edge of my cardstock, in fact, you know what, let's make sure we can see it. I can put a little tick mark here. Guess what, this is gonna be cut off, so that's fine with me. Now, I'm going to put my die right here, and you can see about how much space I've got. Now I'm gonna line up my cutting plate with that tick mark right there, because I don't want it to cut anymore. Run that through, and now I get just kind of a fun little image. You know, if you wanted something a little bit more decorative, that's just another way to do it. But I want you to notice, look at that. Perfect stitching all the way around. We don't have a die that's this shape, but we sure do when we bring in those stitch-shaped dies. How about one more? This is from the Stitched Labels. I'm going to stamp that Happy Mother's Day. It was sitting out, so it's a good one to use. I'm going to place the label die right here on the right side. And we will take that, remember I don't wanna cut off the other end, so I'm hanging my plate off. All right, there we go. Now we just need to get the other side. I line it up, it notched, it just immediately notches. It's really pretty great, guys. Let's rotate this around actually, because I need to have my plate come to here. I'll put my cutting plate right to that edge and Voila, we'll punch out our little excess there. And look at that. We went from this label die to a longer rectangle die. Just look at the difference we made by just moving those dies down a little bit. I now have sentiments and images all ready to use on my card, but I love that I was able to stretch, get more bang for my buck, because those dies didn't stop at just the shape they were designed for. There you go. A very simple tip and a great way that you're gonna be able to take all those stitch dies that you have and get a lot more use out of them. We have just quadrupled what we can do with those, am I right? We can make them larger, we can make them smaller. It just takes a little bit of work. And you know what? To get just the image that we want and that fabulous stitched look, I say it's worth it. Now listen, if you want more information about today's video uh, or where you could order any of those stitch dies, let me tell you what you can do. Go to simplysimplestamping.com and just look for the August 27th, 2019 blog post. That's where I'll have all the details about the project and how that works. You can order any of those stitch dies that you need. Just click a pick. It's that easy. That's going to take you right to my online store and you can place your order there. Guys, I would be so thrilled to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator, so I hope you choose me when you're placing your next order. All right, that's all for me. If you enjoyed today's video and you like that tip, do me a favor, I would love a thumbs up. That would be so appreciated. And hey, if you haven't already taken a moment to subscribe, there's a great big red subscribe button just waiting for you. Just click that and YouTube will let you know whenever I'm back with a new video and I would love to have you as a subscriber. All right, my friends, that's it for me. Thank you so much for being here on this Tuesday. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>